How's it going guys? So today we're out here in the rainforest and we're going to be looking for a few different species, whatever we can find, but our main goal today is some nice angle-headed dragons. Let's see what we can find. crazy how much they rely on that camouflage. I'm standing really close and it's not even like shimmying around the branch or anything. So there we have it, a female angle-headed dragon out here in the rainforest. Surprisingly easy to catch. They don't run too far. They're not like a water dragon or something else like that that just completely darts off. And they're very reliant on that camouflage. What a beautiful, unique reptile. So here we have it, my first angle-headed dragon. And this is the sort of lower part of their range where this one's from. This female's in shed at the moment, but you can tell she'd be really beautiful if she wasn't, she's nice, got those nice green colors and obviously blends right in here with the moss covered trees and the algae and all the leaves and stuff. Beautiful animal. Only one of two rainforest dragons in Australia. And these guys like living where it's nice and cool under the canopy here. They cling to the saplings like this down here. They cling to the branches, you got that? Clean the branches, perfect climbers, and she'll just go on her way. So here we have Anglehead Habitat. Only little patches of sunlight coming through. Dense canopy blocking out a lot of the sun. Lots of grippy branches for them to climb up on. And not too much ground cover. It's mostly just leaves and fallen timber. And that's how they hunt, these guys. They come from the branches, they see something on the ground, they dart down and grab it, and then back up the tree again. Perfect camouflage. Head number two, another female. This one's not fully grown, absolutely beautiful. Coloring and markings is just coming through. As you can see, perfectly blended in. We we're walking and she was literally right in front of my face and I didn't see her right till she was right there. Incredible. Angleheads eat mainly a predominantly insect-based diet. Like I said before, they cling onto the branches like this. They see something running across the forest floor, especially after rain. They love earthworms, things like that. They'll jump down to the ground, tackle the insect, gulp it down, and then return back to their stealth position. So we'll see if we can catch this one here. Whoop, there we go. Get her up. I mean, what amazing animals. It's beautiful. Along with eating a lot of insects, these guys also eat some forest fruits, like figs that drop down during the season. And just like all dragon species, these guys lay eggs. A bit like my Boyd's forest dragons, they'll have like, you know, four to eight eggs. And they actually dig quite a shallow burrow, these guys. They Sometimes they just move the leaves and are only about that much down. They cover them up and the eggs seem to do fine. They're really resilient, they can take quite a big temperature fluctuation which is quite incredible. And yeah, they hatch out and they're ready to go. They look a lot different when they're babies. They're normally pale color or quite white to match with the leaf litter on the ground because they spend a lot more time on lower levels. And as they get that coloration come through, the greens, sometimes blues and stuff like that in males, they get that as they get older, as they move up into the canopy onto the branches.
thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm so stoked to find those angle-headed dragons. I've been looking for them for a long time and what a cool species they are. So if you liked it, make sure you subscribe if you want to see more Australian reptiles and I'll see you next time.